If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glister Elf. I want to talk to you really quickly about why I think that Jace the Mind Sculptor is one of the most underplayed cards in modern, if not the most underplayed. This is not a joke, I'm serious. I think that Jace is not seeing nearly as much play as you would expect, as much saturation as you would expect, based on its actual power level. And what I mean by that, of course, is that Jace the Mind Sculptor is the kind of card that if you're playing a blue deck, and if you're not an all-in combo deck like Storm, for example, or a deck that only has a light blue splash, you're going to want to play Jace the Mind Sculptor. So Storm gets away with it because it doesn't want to play a long game like that. It wants to combo off on one turn, and the deck is built around that synergy. Or, for example, Bant Eldrazi, which is sort of a four-color deck, anyway. Bant and then colorless. They might not have enough blue to consistently have blue-blue for Jace. Okay, fair enough, but otherwise, you're going to want to play Jace the Mind Sculptor. If you're looking at cards that are CMC4 or greater, it's hard to find something without a very good reason that competes with Jace. As a result, if you're playing a deck that's, say, a mid-range or, or control blue deck, Jace. Jace goes in, maybe not four Jaces because, it, unlike, say, Bloodbraid, it's legendary, but some number of Jace the Mind Sculptor because it's that strong. That said, I would say that there are two reasons that it's being less played, that it's being held back. The first one is actually pretty obvious. It's accessibility. At the time that, that Jace was announced as being unbanned, unless I'm missing a promo, there were only two printings of the Mind Sculptor. Obviously the original in World Wake, and then From the Vault 20. As far as I can remember, again, unless there's a promo, that was it. We're getting Masters, or we have gotten Masters 25. And as more of those are opened, there will be more Jaces out there, and maybe that'll make the price go down a bit, but if you wanted to get Jace right off the bat, you were considering paying hundreds of dollars, and that's a huge, if you didn't already have Jace from back when it was banned and was cheaper as a result, that's a huge investment. Lots of people who wanted to play with the Mind Sculptor could not, for this very reason, he's a wallet sculptor. That said, with Masters 25, I expect Jace to see more play in Modern. We'll look to sites like MTG Top 8 to try to figure out whether that's actually happening. The second reason is people want to make sure that they're not stuck with a sour investment. If you see a card that's unbanned, you may not want to play it right off the bat because you want to make sure that it isn't going to get banned shortly thereafter. It's one thing if you already have the card, you're going to be stuck with the card no matter what, right? It's another thing when you're looking at a card that does... Okay, let me, let me give an example. Uh, Bitter Blossom was a card that was originally banned in Modern. And plenty of people said, well, this card may, may or may not be too strong, but I don't want to buy the card just yet. I want to wait because I want to see whether it gets re-banned. People thought that it might be broken in fairies, it might be broken in tokens, it might just be an auto-include win con in black control decks or blue-black control decks. And it turned out to not be the case, thankfully. It's a powerful card, but it's not that powerful and then you could see more people buying into it. Jace the Mind Sculptor goes in a similar way. Now, granted, we've just had one ban and restricted announcement, but that was one right about when Masters 25 was released. So as it's more accessible, as more people who want to play with Jace have the ability to play with Jace, you'll see the card played more, and then whether it crosses that threshold can be better decided by the next ban and restricted list. To put it into a pers my perspective, I had to sell my collection a while ago, and I've been trying to buy myself back into Magic. I'm putting Modern as a second priority because I'm waiting to see if I want to buy a, J a Jace deck or a deck that plays around Jace, same with Bloodbraid for that matter. I want to make sure that I'm not stuck with a sour investment. I want to give it enough time that the format's had time to situate itself. Now. This does have precedent. Yeah, I mentioned Bitter Blossom. There are other cards like that. Wild Nacatl, uh, Ancestral Visions, Sword of the Meek. They've all been unbanned, and the format didn't die. On the other hand, Golgari Grave Troll was unbanned, and was banned not too terribly long thereafter. And people don't want to be stuck in that situation, where 
Gregory Grave Troll was significantly cheaper than Jace the Mind Sculptor. That was less of a risk. But some people lost out on that when Golgari Grave Troll was banned. I don't want to be put in the same spot, and a lot of other players are that way too. That said, given enough time, it would change my mind, certainly. So those are the reasons why I think that Jace the Mind Sculptor is one of the most underplayed cards in Modern. Alright. Take care, Magic Community, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!